Well, hello there. New Milan Design here with a quick Lumion tutorial about advanced camera techniques. Many of these techniques are a combination of uh, basic camera moves, which we covered in my previous tutorial. So in case you missed it, the link is in the top right corner. Today we are starting with important shot in uh, architectural presentation, and that is orbiting shot. In this type of shot, we are orbiting our camera around a chosen pivoting point in our scene. And with this kind of technique, you can show a large portion of your model in one shot. Let's quickly have a look how to uh, set up a camera for these kind of shots. You simply uh, choose your in point and by pressing O key on your keyboard, you orbit the camera into your desired position and select your out point. Choose the clip duration and confirm. And now you have your orbiting shot. Now the problem in uh, Lumion is that the camera moves from point A to point B in the straight line. I ideally for orbiting shot, we want the camera move on uh, an arc trajectory. As you can see in this clip, camera moves around the model on more or less uh, arc trajectory. So let's have a look how to set it up. You can use the same um, in and out point as uh, in the previous clip. So you choose your in point you choose your out point and somewhere in the middle you insert another key point or a frame. You confirm and now you have your camera moving around this center point from A to B to get your orbiting shot. And now the shot you all been waiting for, the dolly zoom or vertigo shot. This one is actually very difficult to, uh, to produce in real life, but luckily for us, not so much in uh, Lumion. I'll try to explain it as simple as possible, but it is not a simple shot. So the point here is to synchronize the movement of your camera, in our case dollying, moving forward with your zoom while keeping your object the same size. As you can see, the object is more or less the same size, only the background is changing, kind of uh, morphing around. So we're moving our camera forward, we're dollying, and at the same time, we are changing the focal length of our lens. So let's have a look how it's done with the camera setup. Now, we start with our wide uh, angle shot. As you can see, I have 17 uh, millimeters on my on my lens and simply uh, by pressing back arrow on my keyboard I'm going to move away from uh, from the model now make sure you don't press anything else because if you go sideways or up and down it will change the perspective and it will not have the desired effect and now I stop in here and change the focal length of my lens somewhere around here now we have it set up uh, in my uh, frame here. Now the point is I'm using this, this line of the roof in here on the model as a reference, the distance from the, from the end of the frame and needs to be the same, approximately the same as you can see. Again, I choose the clip duration, confirm, and now let's have a look. It's working perfectly. As you can see, the distance is not moving, which means I adjusted the size of the building correctly and only the, the background is kind of changing or morphing. Also is the, is the building, obviously, because the angle is changing as well. So there you have it. There is your dolly uh, zoom or vertigo shot.
There is one more uh, technique I would like to uh, mention and we can find it in Lumion Effect on the camera, handheld camera. And we're looking for this tilt. Now, this is not the traditional vertical tilt I was talking about in, uh, in my uh, basic camera moves tutorial. This one is a horizontal tilt. And as you can see, you can uh, keyframe it. That means you can change the, the position within your clip. So in the hands of a skilled editor, you can achieve really, really nice artistic uh, results. So there, uh, there you have it, guys. That's all for today's uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching, stay well and stay creative.